In today's vlog, I spend a shitload of time in my car. I can listen to reggae all day. All day. I don't know why. No, I do know where it comes from. So, I'll tell you, I'll share some fun story with you. Well, fun story. So, when I was a kid, I went to an all black school. I got accepted into a gifted program, and um, I guess there was a seat at, at the school. It was all black. I was one of less than 10 white kids in the whole school in South Dawson Park. And I never saw anything wrong with it. I mean, it was just, you know, to school. Like, you know, that's the school that I went to. But I think those times really shaped me into the, the person I am today. I think it's why I identify more with urban culture. Um, I think it's why I love reggae. I think it's why I may have just a, a, a tad bit of swag. Um, and, and you know, it's life experiences will have that. And I, those years are incredibly formative. So, I think that's why I like reggae. I don't know. It's like I love, I love it. I literally could listen to this dance hall all day. Yeah. And sometimes I do. It, a lot of it just has a very good feel. Yeah, yeah. You know? So we're here with Made in New York podcast with Consumer down on the water in Sunset Park. I, I'm looking out the window as we speak, looking at the World Trade Center in downtown Manhattan. Why don't you introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about you and your story and so on. Hey, so first I want to say thanks for inviting me to do this podcast. Uh, always respected your hustle since I came across you. And uh, featuring Made in New York, I think, is really important. There are lots of makers in New York where they're involved in art or other things, other industries. So, uh, yeah, I'm grateful to be asked to participate. Great. So, um, my name is Consumer. I make art. I'm primarily a stencil artist, but I also do mixed media collage type work as well. I don't have any kind of formal art training. Uh, I have a degree in business from NYU, Stern School of Business, and I uh, was a broker on Wall Street in the beginning of my career. Uh, then I did business development when the internet infrastructure was getting built out. Okay. And then became an entrepreneur, built, building, operating, selling to retail establishments. You know, so uh, about three or four years ago, I wanted to make a piece of art for myself. Mm -hmm. About four years ago, and that's how the whole thing started. such a big car and have no clue how to drive. <laughs> That's the shit in New York. Like you have to you have to be able to have that moment, be like fuck face and then let go of it. <laughs> because you have so many of them because of just, you know, how many yeah, people yeah, you yeah. put into this city and just what New York is. As 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 good as New Yorkers are like you, you deal with the the absolute opposite parallel that where they're like dick faces in the same breath that they're helping you up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Definitely. But it's funny. The more I've tried to surround myself with good people, the more things are just happening. It's it's incredible. I truly truly believe that you trigger serendipity by putting goodness into the world. The more and more I do, yeah. it's it's just incredible the opportunities that are happening, the doors that are opening, and I don't think it's gonna stop. In today's episode of Spanish with Mike, we learn the word for micro. Micro. <laughs> micro. <laughs> it is the same word, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeep. Chipeta. 
<laughs> so we spent a lot of time so far today in this car driving all around. But we've been very, 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 very productive. Just had a really good meeting with uh, the president of my company and the head of PR and we got an attack plan set up and ready to go for Operation Get Mike a magazine cover and a lot of other things that are gonna come hopefully as a byproduct of that. We are now back in Queens. We're heading to Astoria. We're going to show six families to one of my investors that I actually sold a building to last year and recently won an award for. So hopefully these guys will buy another building. Or two. You know, this is all going to become apartments at some point, or buildings. They're going to do the same thing here that they did with uh, Hudson Yards. Mm. They're going to... Yeah, just cover it up and build on top They're going to cover it up and build on top of it. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. The fuck does it need to be open for? Yep. crazy to think that this this like Long Island City skyline like right here mm -hmm. is only only the last three and a half four years yeah yeah, yeah I don't want to go I'm gonna go for ya I don't got patience for this shit that's one thing about driving in New York is after you've done it long enough you learn when, where, and how you need to be aggressive in order to get where you're going. Otherwise, you're gonna sit behind somebody forever. So, what do you think we need to do? So the, how New York sounds and how New York looks segments or feel segments, right? Is that something you think we do once a week, twice a week, three times a week? I mean, it becomes, there's only so much, I guess, and there's, there's street corners forever, so I guess you could do whatever in theory. Yeah, yeah. But, what do you think? Like, what, 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 because obviously that's significantly different than yeah. anything else we're doing. But what do you think? Um, I think so that we don't run out maybe once a month. Once a month. Yeah. Because it's, it's like but that's only said, twelve pieces of content over the course of a year. For for that one thing. Because we could we could do once a week, but then it's like how many how many different things are we gonna go shoot? Well, I mean, on top of everything else, right? We're I mean, there's 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 always two. You can always do like the summer and winter which is obviously oh, yeah, two yeah, different yeah. shots yeah, right yeah, yeah. or then two different day, day and night right well. day and night you know um yeah, yeah if you put it like that then yeah i'm thinking i'm starting to think like these things would need to be like once a week mm -hmm. as if i was building my own tv network yeah. So, like, on Tuesdays, this comes out. On Wednesdays, this comes out. On mm -hmm. Thursdays, this comes out. On Fridays, this, this, and this comes yeah. Like, whatever it is. So, consistently, they're... Like, that's really what I'm trying to do. Is, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. turn myself into a TV network. Short of the TV side of it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we have... And this is, this is on top of the vlog. Yeah. And on top of the micro shit mm -hmm. and on top of well, that's really you know that that's part of it we can and not we can we need to and i will reboot um subway station stories mm -hmm. because now that i have you it's easy it's yeah, just yeah, going yeah. to a fucking subway station um do you think the mic, me wearing the mic is enough to pick up them? Yeah, yeah. Because what I could do is I could turn up the sensitivity. But then does that not make me very loud and them low and then the levels are fucked up? Well, they're, they're low now. Like... Oh, you know what that's for? Oh, yeah. yeah. Time to buy some Yeezys!
time to buy some Yeezys. Shit, where am I going? <laughs> no, I know where I'm going. This is just where we were yesterday. Yeah. And uh, like, it's right down the block from uh, Colorworks. Okay. I should stop in. I'm like, yo, I didn't get my designs. What the fuck? <laughs> Shit, I'm trying to give you business, guys. Come on now. I, I sent um, that dude Serge a message. I got I to gotta hit him up. I'm going to do a podcast with him for sure. And, that um, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Time to buy some Yeezys. <laughs> Time to buy some Yeezys. No, I know where I'm going. This is just where we were yesterday. Yeah. And, uh, like, it's right down the block from uh, Colorworks. Okay. I should stop in. I'm like, yo, I didn't get my designs. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Shit, I'm trying to give you business, guys. Come on now. I, I sent um, that dude Serge a message. I got I to gotta hit him up. I'm going to do a podcast with him for sure. And, that um, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pull, pull over. Do not leave the app. This may take a minute. I'm trying to get Yeezys. Checking sizes. Come on! Checking availability. Checking sizes. Guess what? We're just going to leave you there. I'm going to go with the fuck. Oh, oh. The release is no longer available. Are you serious? Yo! When did these come out? In one minute. <laughs> Let me see if I can't go on like adidas.com forward slash easy. Yeah. Because sometimes, but I think they actually come out on Friday. So I'm heading out to show. I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to let Brandy sit here and edit a little bit. We had a very, very, very productive day today. But I want to make this fun. So I'm going to give back to you. Somebody's going to win this box of Girl Scout cookies that can make the funniest meme of something that they saw in today's vlog. 